Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your May 1st to the 15th, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel grow and helps me out tremendously, so thank you so very much. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy spirit wants us to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, okay, so these two. Oh, it's a rebirth reversed. So, and Taurus energy, this is the Hierophant. We're changing in our career or we're changing in the way that we, we see ourselves situated in things, like the way that we are kind of like defining ourselves or seeing us in group settings. So that's one aspect that's very much coming, coming forward. We're also being reborn or we're resisting, no, we're resisting this rebirth during this beginning of, yeah, of of Taurus season. So that can also be it. Like, you know, we're we're in May 1st to the 15th and Taurus season goes until the 20th. So it's not necessarily the beginning of Taurus season, but during this Taurus season, you're going to see a rebirth energy that is around you. And there's something like I'm resisting moving forward or I'm resisting how I'm going to really embrace being me in certain situations that are a little bit more I want to say conformist, but it doesn't mean that it has to be conformist. It's like work opportunities or, you know, social event opportunities or, you know, religious opportunities where it's like, okay, there's a structure here. I have to obey the structure, but also I have to obey, like, maybe obey is a weird word to use, but like who I am and what I want in my life. So just be aware of that. Then we have our... Spirit guide message reading, angels and spirit guides. No, that is. Okay, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. And this one right here is family reversed. So it can be that we feel a little bit cut off from our family for one reason or another. But there's also this sense here of, yeah, of needing to connect to either the family we were, you know, we were raised by or the, the family that we have connected in a in our lives, connected to in our lives, there is just this feeling of, of disconnect coming forward. And it can't even be our own family that we have, you know, our own little little group, the sense of, I need to connect. There's just something here where I feel like I feel disconnected, but I'm also feeling tired and a little bit annoyed. So there's just something here where it's like, it's been a lot. It's been a lot and it's been a long road. So let's not be so harsh on ourselves. Just be aware of that. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Okay, very interesting here. If you're asking a question and you just kind of want a simple yes or no answer, just know during this time the answer is no. Okay. It doesn't mean that it has to say stay no, but during this time, the answer right here is like, you know, hold up if you can just a little bit. 
that would be best for you. We do have, and we have that because of the, the sun reverse. We do have the five of cups coming in, change your mind, change your life. We really need to look at what we're focusing on in our lives and for ourselves, because there is this energy here of, I can get really sad really fast, you know, and it can be, it can be like a seasonal depression or it can just be anxiety, depression, you know, fear. I don't mean just dismissively, but there is a sense here of it'll be very easy. It's just going to be very easy during this time to look at the negative, the hurts, the pains, the disappointments, the chaos, and just be overwhelmed by it. But if we turn around, we have in the Rider Waite Smith deck, we have two cups. You know, we have, oh, that's interesting. One of the, the spindles has broken its thread. So here, it's like, yeah, we have two cups that stand, but here it's like something is falling to get your attention. And we're, we're so busy over here in this energy, in this space, that something's going to have to like fall or change, or it's going to be something physical that happens that actually makes us turn our head, makes us look at things differently. That's going to be very, very interesting. It's almost like your angels are pushing something off a shelf or pushing something forward for you to be able to be like, oh, let me look over here. And they're like, oh, thank you. That's where I needed you to look. The Ace of Pentacles, God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handed, handing you a gift of prosperity, success, bounty, abundance. There's a sense here of seeds to be planted or things that you desire, things to be created, crafted, you know, gaining a better understanding of. And that's going to be a very big thing for you during this time, the sense of I'm opening up a door or a seed has been planted or I never thought of this before. And it brings us on this journey to move forward. The fool is like, I have to move forward. I have to move on to something new, something adventurous or something exciting. We're always afraid whenever the fool comes in, we're afraid that people will see us as foolish. And you know what? I love that statement that how other people see us is none of our business. That's going to be very true for you during this time, Libra. How other people see you, none of your business. There's a real sense of, I need to move forward in this energy, in this space, in this time for me. Now, there are fears here. There is a sense of the subconscious and the conscious, you know, needing to come together, needing to realize each other a little bit more. All right. But we're also having a little bit of an aversion to that. We don't want to dive too deeply into things during this time. We'd rather stay just on the surface of things. And that's okay. Sometimes life is like that. And here with the moon, we have the sun and the moon. We have them reversed. So here we can have a little bit of a stressful time. I'm not, you know, kind of speaking that over you. Just be mindful that this time might be a little bit more stressful. You need that kind of like family home base for you. Just that place that like, that's like your cornerstone, that touch, that touchstone space. I just see like a nice warm blanket and a nice cup of tea for me that very much symbolizes, you know, coziness and relaxing and, and, and comfort in and of itself. And that's what you're needing during this time. There is a sense of facing fears, but also a lot of fears are going to want to hold you back. Be aware of this. Be aware that we'll have a tendency to have our, our mind kind of run like a hamster wheel. And that can be, you know, at night when we're getting ready to go to sleep, we can have worries, doubts, fears. And just know that sometimes our thoughts, not necessary. You know, we can think these outlandish things or have these, these worries and these chaoses around us. They don't have to be our lives. They don't get to, to rule us. And that's going to be very important during this time to say, oh, you know what? My mind is just like having a bit of a freak out right now. That's cool. I'm not being pulled down into it. The sun reversed. Again, for me, this is a no answer in something. And this is also a sense of, okay, I'm starting to see things differently. You know, things aren't being illuminated the way that I would want them to, either by the moon or by the sun. What we're going to start to see is that the inner void, that quiet is going to be so important to us. I just need to quiet everything down, center in myself, see what I want, what I desire, what my my soul, my body is is needing right now. And then that pulls us forward. And that's going to be a very good thing for us. Now, the three of wands reversed. We want an adventure. It's going to take a little bit of planning. So here, it's like, it's not going to happen instantaneously. Do be aware of that. But there's also a case, a, a sense with the three of, of wands. There is a sense of, you know, with it reversed, that everything's not moving forward the way that I want it to. There can be some frustration here. But it, this is kind of a good thing because the way things are moving forward is in celebration for ourselves. So 
everything's kind of being slowed down. And that's because we are going to be able to celebrate. We are going to be able to cultivate what we want. It's just going to be very different than the way that we start off this month thinking, oh, it's going to be like this. And oh, it's, it's going to be like that. No, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. It's going to be, it's going to have a nuance to it of just like, can I do it? And the answer is yes, you can. I know you might be saying, but Dane, you said no right here. Yeah, but that is to, if you're saying like, oh, should I do this or should, should I go to on this trip this this during this time frame, right? And the answer is like, no, look at things closer to home during this time. Look at things that are a little bit more meaningful for you, that charge up your energy, that don't add more stress, because it will be very easy during this time to get stressed out, to get overwhelmed for something that's supposed to be really fun and really exciting to become a drudgery because it's like, oh my gosh, now I have to do this. Now I have to do that. We're not going to have things coming in and out as easily as we want them to. So things being creative and cultivated and moving forward the way that we want them to, this is just going to be like, oh man, I'm just a little bit tired. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. If you could put pauses on things, that would be excellent because you're really revving up to have an adventure, to move forward. The seeds are planted. You're going to see yourself making choices and, and stepping out of your comfort zone and really stepping into yourself in ways that you're like, oh, wow, I didn't think I could do that. Or, oh, wow, I didn't know that was part of me. But it's all going to be very close to home. It's all going to be very much in your own little world. And that little world, you start celebrating yourself in a very real way, in a very positive way. And that moves you forward to to the extraordinary. That moves you forward in ways that you hadn't imagined or hadn't anticipated. This is a time to say, I'm celebrating me. It might be hard. It might be overwhelming. You know, it might not necessarily always be exactly what I wanted it to be, but I'm celebrating me because there's an adventure here and there's beauty here and there's, you know, power here. Celebrate yourself as much as you want to poo things and say, oh no, I couldn't possibly. No, there's tremendous gifts coming your way, a new adventure moving forward. Don't over plan because I can see that being the way that we want to kind of counter out act things where it's like, okay, there's this uncertainty here. I'm going to overplan. I'm going to overstructure. Don't do that. But just know that divinity is going to turn your head in a way that you hadn't anticipated. And now it's like, oh, wow, what is this avenue? Or, oh, wow, what is this? Let's look at our subconscious message to be mindful of. And that's the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is looking at everybody else's happily ever after and thinking, huh, okay. Like comparing ourselves. Don't. It is, it's so easy with social media, with everything that goes on. It's so easy to say, oh, wow, I'm not like this person. I'm not like that person. I can't do this. I can't do that. And it will just be easy during this time to be in that, that mindset of like, oh, you know, I'm not measuring up. Don't do that. Celebrate yourself. That's going to be, if that's one thing that you take away, that's going to be one of the biggest things during this time. If you can celebrate yourself, that's just going to be so powerful. It moves us to our subconscious message from spirit. And this is energy. Be very focused on the energy you're letting into your life, on the energy you're giving out in your life. There is a sense here of, I need to build my energetic sphere. I need to look at the positivity I'm taking in. I need to be aware of the negativity I'm either taking in or giving out. And also the positivity I'm, I'm giving out. So just be very aware of your energy. Be very aware that you'll have days where you're tired or overwhelmed as all humans do. And just be kinder to yourself during those days. Connecting with your energy, connecting with you and being like, yeah, I'm human and there's nothing wrong with that is going to be very powerful, very liberating and taking time within yourself and kind of treating yourself sacredly is going to be very important. It moves us to our subconscious tarot message. And this is the seven of wands reverse. We're really not into fighting during this time. I mean, if you can avoid fights and arguments and, and, and chaos during this time, that would be just absolutely beneficial. The, the seven of, of wands reversed. Now, there's so many people who want to waste your energy. There's so many people who don't get it, don't understand. And that's fine. They're on their journey. You're on yours. But really, you're just subconsciously, you might even find that you like cringe away from arguments or disagreements or anything like that. So just be aware of that. During this time, treat yourself kindly. Treat yourself. Doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy elaborate things, but, you know, take a nice hot shower or bath, you know, make that cup of tea or that cup of coffee. 
have your favorite meal. Do small things that show yourself that you appreciate yourself. All right. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Libra. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.